People nationwide are questioning the security protocols following the assassination attempt on former President Trump. 22 News reporter Victoria Buddy joins us live after speaking with a retired Secret Service agent. Victoria. That's right, Christina, and he says protocols at large rallies are always being reviewed. Last time we had a protect the injured was President Reagan. Greg Truhan, a retired Secret Service agent, recalling assassination attempts of the past. The 22-year veteran saying agents acted quickly in this most recent attempt against former President Donald Trump. If you're listening to the audio, there's a point where the detail leader, you can hear him say to the fellow agents, shoot her down and clear. That tells me with shooter down uh, that they, they neutralized, took that shooter out within seconds. The retired Secret Service agent tells me that before the event even happens, those agents scope out the area and walk the steps that the former president would walk the day of the event. We will work together to uh, the staff will tell us we want to do this, we want to do this, we want to go here, and then we have to put the security together. There's five, six, seven, eight different specialties. And there's an agent in charge of each of those specialties. And it's their job to uh, to set up the security protocols for their particular specialty. In the meantime, authorities are still investigating what led to the 20 year old shooter attempting to assassinate former President Trump and how he managed to get on a roof nearly 150 yards away from the rally. That is the million dollar question. We don't know. Um, but this is, and we'll find out because they're going to do the after action review and we'll find out what happened. Reports indicate that some witnesses pointed out the gunmen to local law enforcement minutes before the shooting. Working for you, Victoria Buddy, 22 News.